Hello, my name is James Julian, Product Specialist for Wireless Tools here at Atlas Copco. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps on how to pair an LRT tool to a customer Wi-Fi network. There are a couple things you'll need to get started, a T10 Torx screwdriver, a micro USB cable, and a computer running Tools Talk service too. Begin by removing the access panel on the back of the tool. and plug in the micro USB cable end to the tool and the other end into your computer. Insert the battery onto the tool and now switching to the computer will open Tools Talk Service 2 and select the connect button. Once connected to the tool you'll see general information and we'll select the wireless settings tab at the top and read at the top right. Normally these tools are set to Bluetooth. This one is and we'll change it to WLAN. You can see when it's set to Bluetooth the settings are grayed out. So we'll set it to WLAN and now we can begin inputting our wireless network settings. Beginning with the controller's IP address. This would be the controller's uh, network IP address on the customer's network. In our case, it is 169.254.1.1. Remote port is default to 6677 and shouldn't be changed. Uh, SSID is the name of the network that is being broadcast. The tool name is the host name and will only appear to network administrators, but should be unique to the tool. So, Generally, a serial number is recommended. IP configuration will be determined by the network. If DHCP, there are no settings. If static, you will manually enter your IP address information here. In our case, we'll leave it DHCP, which is automatic IP address assignment. Next, you'll select the channels for the type of band you're connected to, 2.4 or 5 gig, following by the security type and password. Once that's all filled in, you will select the write button to make sure that all these settings are written to the tool. Once that's complete, we can right click to disconnect the tool from Tools Talk Service 2 now we can disconnect the USB cable from the tool, remove the battery, and it's now ready to be connected to a wireless network and a PowerFocus 6000. I hope you found this video useful. For more information, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. Thank you for watching.